Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is the next tutorial in the series. This one's going to be short. It's just covering um, error handling, simple error handling for DirectX functions. Um, so first, let me uh, let me hover over one of these like this. See that what it returns? It returns an H result. Um, that type of structure can be read by a error library that used to be contained in the DirectX SDK called DX error. Um, and what it did is it contained a, a function that it would, when it, the error failed, it would display a message box with like the line number, the function call, such some stuff like that, basically the file um, with the, with a, a readable version of what the error was, because usually it'll just throw and throw you uh, basically a, a jumbled mess of error code, like errors. Uh, you know, numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a version. We're just going to get the DX error library because we don't want to actually include the whole DirectX SDK because the point of the, this tutorial series was to only to attempt to only use the Windows 8 SDK. Um, so let's let's first open up uh, the web browser and you'll see this where's dxerror.library so this was a forum about um, where things went basically with the Windows SDK now this guy Chuck Walborn um, actually posted this file right here dxerror.zip which just contains the header so basically search this I'll actually include it in the link in the description but um, find this page and then go down and download this So just open with, and what you'll see is this the basically just these two files right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to extract this. I'm going to extract it to um, my desktop actually. Um, okay. So what that should have done. You can see my me messy desktop is there's this folder now DX error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and find where my the tutorial um, project file is. So in, in mine it's in a folder called C++ uh, portfolio D311 tutorials. Um, so this is the er error handling tutorial. And what we're going to do is we're just basically going to copy this in here. I'm just going to move it because I don't really care. Um, so it has these these files. Um, I don't know why it just dumped out source right there. but um, So now what we can do is we can actually take, um, if we go here, Actually, let me see how I did it there. Yeah, that's how I did it. Um, we can take these files, and I can drag. Well, let me minimize this for a second. Drag the source file onto there, and drag the header file right here. So basically, all this really has in it is a bunch of um, utility methods for handling these H results. Um, see from Win32 does a lot of stuff. So basically, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a little uh, macro. So this is a macro define that's going to we're we're gonna wrap our uh, method calls in. So what we're gonna do is if define debug. Right. First, we're going to check to see if not defined HR. We're going to define HR that takes in this X value. Um, and we're going to have to put these little uh, numbers here because it, it, macros are generally supposed to be defined in one line. But if they're not and they're defined in multiple, you have to have this caret here thing that um, tells it to concatenate it together. Um, so what we're going to do is basically... Um, on each of these lines as well, though, whoa, whoa, whoa. you also need to have little carrots. 
not carrots, but, you know, backslashes. There you go. That's the word. Um, we're going to set an H result equal to that passed in H result right there. Um, we're going to check to see if that fails. So it failed HR. We're going to call the method, which of course first we're going to actually have to include it. So DX error. There we go. Um, we're going to call the method DX trace W. And what we'll do is we'll use these things called this file. Actually, file W. We're going to use um, line. We're going to use, we're going to pass in that H result. We're going to do L, which basically just means it's uh, a long, so it's a wide character. We're going to take that H result value, and then we're just going to say true to pop a message box with the, the error in it. Um, we're also going to do that. And we're going to have to have a bunch of these, basically. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, and if, but then we're also going to want to, if, let's say we're not in debug, we still want to pass this through. So we're going to go if, um, not to find HR, to find HR X, and then just it passes through the X. So here's our little, um, macro kind of crazy looking with these backslashes but what this will do is if any of our method call uh, function calls using directx um, our directx attributes like the immediate context the device or the swap chain and any of those methods that returns an h result if it happens to fail it'll tell us why basically a general sense why um, so that will help greatly um, so let's now set up our th our uh, stuff to use this. So let's go back into our init direct 3D, and let's find methods that we called that use this. So this we don't need to call it on, but here does this return it? It does. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this this get buffer in the HR. Um, this also does. So we're going to wrap this as well. Does this? No, it doesn't. Also, by the way, this needs to be, um, I don't think, I think I skipped over this by accident. This needs to be released, this back buffer, because we're not using it anymore. And if you have pointers that you're not using anymore, you really need to delete them from memory. Um, so does this, nope, it doesn't. So this is all set up. And working. Um, this does, but that we already handled the results anyway ourselves. Um, so let's go into WinMain and check. This does not, but this does. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to wrap this. Okay, so now let's see if this builds and runs. Okay, so there you go. So now we have it working. Now I'm going to change this actually to tutorial 2. Okay, so there we go. So this works. It's basically, um, I changed the color to slate gray by the way. Um, if, if you were to have something screw up and um, like you didn't have a texture initialized or something, and but the method was wrapped in that HR, it should throw an error. Now, I don't believe this will throw it. Let's say we make this not a reference anymore, because um, remember that broke last time. That's not an, a direct X error. I think that's a memory error, so I doubt this will throw. No, it does. Okay.
So see, this is an example of it working. So it says the file. It says it happened in the dxapp.cpp. It tells the line number, so 183. It says the error code. It's a uh, DXGI error invalid call on the calling of swap chain get buffer cast. So basically it's just telling you, you know, it was an invalid call. So um, do you want to debug the application? Yes. Um, and then it just goes to the normal error. So there you go. So that's an example of it working. Um, that's it's generally very, very helpful, as you can see. Um, so thanks for watching. On um, the next tutorial, I will cover uh, the use of the DirectX toolkit and where you can get it. And we're going to create a simple, um, I'll show you simple rendering using a sprite batch and loading in a texture. Thanks for watching.